So you took the Android 16 update on your Google Pixel device, and then you're seeing a lot of YouTube videos where people are showing Material 3 Expressive, and you're looking at your Pixel, and you're like, golly, this looks exactly like Android 15. So you're scouring on YouTube the different content creators who are showing Material 3 Expressive and asking yourself, how did you get that? Well, I've received a couple of those comments, so I figured I would make this quick video to help people out, so then that way, if you really want to try out Material 3 Expressive, you'll know how to do it. But there are some warnings, so pay attention to the entire video. And smash the like button too, because it really does help out the channel, so I appreciate that. But anyways, um, so when it comes down to it, you took the update, you're on Android 16. Where's, where's Material 3 Expressive? Where's all these new changes to the user interface? Well. There's, uh, there's something that you need to do. And that comes in the form of this. And I'll have the link to this page in the description so you guys can go if you choose to do it. But basically, it is the Android beta program. You know, a couple of things that you do need to know is that, of course, you know, to participate, you would sign into your Google account. And then uh, you will go to this link, which is uh, g.co slash Android beta. And um, yeah you'll see a list of your eligible devices. Now, this is on a web browser. You can do it from the Chrome app on your device, and uh, it'll be formatted for a mobile device. But you'll see a list, and under each device that is capable of installing the uh, QPR1 beta, um, you'll see an opt-in. As you can see, my Pixel 7a, the 8a, the 9a, um, those are already... On the beta program so I can opt out of it a couple of things you need to know before doing this okay when you install beta software on your Google Pixel whether it's the brand new Pixel 9a or if it's a Pixel 7a if it's still under warranty installing beta software voids the warranty so if anything happens during the process of updating uh, OTA or over the air is what it's called uh, for the beta software and something goes wrong it's not, cover, it's not covered under warranty to repair. So you might want to keep that in mind before going through with this. But if you still choose to do it, then that's totally fine. And what you would do, all you would do is find your device that you want to uh, install the software update on. And you would click opt-in. It's going to give you a little box. Um, let's, let's do this one right here, for example. So you'll get this little box right here. And you will just, you know, select, check these two, confirm, and enroll. And that's all you have to do. The rest of it is done on your device that you're updating. So once you confirm and enroll, you will go to your device, go to settings, go to system, go to system update, check for system update, and it'll be preparing to install update. And just let it go through its thing until it tells you it's time to reboot, reboot the phone, and then you will have Android 16 QPR1, currently at this time, beta 2.1 with Material 3 Expressive. Now, if you've experienced any issues at all whatsoever, anything that could be buggy or whatever, and you're just like, oh, I don't want to deal with this. You want to go back to regular stock Android 16. Then you would choose the option to opt out. So you would go back into the website, choose opt out on your device that has it, that has the, the beta software. And then you would do the same thing. Then you would go back on your device, go to system setting and choose, you know, system update. And it's going to downgrade you out of the beta program back onto the stable software. Now, know when you downgrade, it is going to completely wipe your phone. So make sure you have a backup of everything that you need because it's going to wipe your phone uh, as if it was brand new out of the box. You're going to have to re-sign into your Google account. You're going to have to go and just, you know, either install all your backups or you can just do a fresh install and just install every app one by one and log back into them if you want to do it that way. But, you know, that is how you get Material 3 Expressive. Um, of course, you know, it's going to be available later on down the road, maybe, you know, end of August, maybe in October of this year is when it will fully roll out. So if you want to wait until then and not risk your device being on beta software, that's totally fine. But for those people who wanted to install it, that's how you do it. That's how you get it done. And so, yeah, um, like I said, do me a solid, smash that like button if this video was helpful. Um, I, had a lot of fun making it for you guys, and I'll talk to you on the next one. See you guys on Monday for a new video. A lot.